Hey guys, it's uh, Dave Stahl, Apple Vintage Tech, and guess what we got? I finally got that upgraded G4 board for my slot load iMac from uh, DOS Dude. Thank you, Colin. And there's a lot of people been wanting me to, to get this thing going. And uh, so uh, anyway, I have uh, this is Saturday morning. It came yesterday, but, uh, but uh, the post office was closed, so I picked it up this morning. And uh, I have to go to work, so luckily I only work just in the morning. So when I get back, I'm going to take this thing out. We're going to get it in, and uh, we are going to do a live boot up. And uh, uh, Greg Herke Mods and uh, Crazy Ken from Apple Vintage Vault, they want me to notify them when I get this thing up and running, and I'm going to do that. So I'll see you. It'll be just a few seconds for you guys, but it'll be uh, later in the day for me. So. Here you go guys, this is the updated uh, G3 board to a G4 board courtesy of DOS Dude and uh, you can see right there there's a beautiful G Motorola G4 chip on it. Mm, that looks beautiful, nice and shiny. So anyway, we are going to put this, uh, this is actually the original board out of this Mac. Um, so we're going to put this board back in it and uh, then we will have a live boot up. Now the drive is defaulted uh, to Tiger so we'll boot up into Tiger and uh, then we'll uh, run some uh, benchmarks. I have the old benchmarks from the G3 processor that's in it now and then uh, we're going to uh, compare it to the G4 to see what the difference is. Uh, we should see quite a bit of improvement on it. And then what I've been waiting for is we will turn it off, we'll power it back up with the option key, and we're going to move it over to uh, Leopard, and we'll see if it boots up into Leopard natively. All right, so we will be back in a minute. I'm going to take time to take the Mac apart. This guy here, we're going to put the board in it, and then we will see you in a bit. And um, forgot to tell you also that. Um, uh, he clocked this at 550 megahertz. Uh, the original board was at 400 megahertz. So with this updated processor, uh, we are going to be running at 550 megahertz. And so uh, to uh, Ken out there from uh, Apple Vintage Vault and Greg from Herkeg Mods and DOS Dude, we're gonna see how it works. Okay, so I got the uh, board out. And I took the um, heat sink off here, and I, on both sides, I cleaned it. I put thermal paste on the back side of this just to make sure that's making good contact. And then the other one, I'm going to put thermal paste here, and then the new board's going to go down on that. Okay, so we got a big glob of thermal paste there, and then I got a big glob of paste on the. Uh, chip there so now we're going to marry it together and then we're going to get all back together and then we're going to do a boot on the system okay guys i got it all put back together except for the case because i'm still doing a few things on it but anyway so here we go um this is the first time we powered it up since we put the board in it so let's uh see what happens Come on, please work. It's got to figure things out, you know, when you first put it together. Please, come on. Not good. It's not booting. What's going on? Come on. Hey guys. Uh, well, it it still does not want to work. Um, 
it would never boot up. I had I even took the board back out, the G4 board, and uh, make sure there weren't any bent pins or anything. Made sure everything was connected. Uh, even swapped out the ROM or excuse me, the RAM, uh, which I knew was fine. But I you know, unplugged it. I did all kinds of tricks. I even went to that uh, Mac Tips and Tricks to put like an OS9 disk in it to see if I could get the video to come up. The problem is, is the video would never come up on a monitor and of course the um, USB never got a USB signal either so um, the hard drive it was accessing the hard drive um, and it was and if you put the CD drive a, 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 a CD in the drive uh, it would wind up but it wasn't accessing it and then eventually just spin down but you couldn't eject it so anyway, um, I am bummed because when we did this board the first time, it did work. Um, you can look at the first video and uh, it was registered as a G4, 550 megahertz, and it worked fine for a little bit and all of a sudden then it would start to freeze up and then eventually the screen would not come on anymore. So I'm kind of wondering if it's actually maybe another issue. Obviously, it is because um, I don't think it, I don't think it's a bad processor, uh, the the uh, G4 chip. I think it's something else now. So, anyway, um, sorry to say that uh, it's it's not uh, going to fly. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, so anyway, Greg and uh, Ken. Um, sorry this is not the video that you wanted to see uh, I'm very disappointed too but you know it is what it is so anyway uh, it's no fault of a DOS dude because like I said he's, he does awesome work it's just there's something else wrong with that board I guess because uh, I put the other board back in you can see it's working perfectly and we're right in the Tiger um, but uh, and it runs and it operates fine but you know I'm just uh, really bummed I really am um, however I do have some exciting news and I'm going to share it with you is um, this is a this is like a 2009 uh, super drive it's out of a um, I believe it's out of an iMac anyway um, this thing does work on this uh, iMac and uh, so what I've been doing and I'm still not done and this it looks kind of really ugly right now but what I did is I'm making a custom plug so this one has the uh, you know the IDE pin on it and then when we go down to the next one this is the one that goes to the optical drive and this is a PATA connector um, and anyway, so I had to split all these wires because I have to, you know, tr rotate it like 180 when I get it in there. However, it's way too long. So what I need to do is I'm going to cut uh, about, um, I'm going to leave about maybe um, from the optical drive to the motherboard. I'm going to leave just enough to where I'm going to split this cable like I did the other one and then I'll be able to rotate it. So I'm probably going to leave it about maybe about eight inches long. And I'm going to cut the rest of this off because it's just, you just can't wad it all up and there's just not enough room. But like I said, uh, this drive does work. Um, it's, it's kind of awkward how it is. I had to modify the uh, drive bay a little bit uh, to get it in. And uh, these are just um, temporary spacers that I made out of styrene plastic. I just got it basically just, uh, these are all super glued together, these pieces of styrene. But I've got it uh, double sided sticky tape on the drive and I had double sided sticky tra tape on the uh, drive bay. Because I got to get real creative and make some brackets for it. But um, it does work. Um, and uh, yeah, that's one of our little kitties that we do a pal. That's little Frederica. She's cute. She's a, got a little Maine Coon in her. But anyway, she's taking a little nap. So anyway, um, getting off topic there. 
But anyway, yeah, so this this works. This is a, two, a I believe it's a 2009 or 2010. I think it's 2009. It's the newest, it's the newest old drive that I got that I pulled out of a, another machine. I got tons of parts. So anyway, yeah, so the, the issue you run on these is these, uh, um, I think they call them the JA connector, I think is what they call them. Um, on these early machines, this connector is on this side. All the newer machines, it's on this side. And so what happens is you have to spin that uh, board that plugs into it. Um, let me grab one here. Sorry for the really cruddy camera work here. So here we go. So anyway, I told you I got lots of parts. Yes, Frigica. I'm sorry to freak you And then there's the other APOC kitties there too. We're, they're going to be uh, fixed here in the next week and then they're going to go up for adoption. But anyway, so anyway, this is the board that goes on it. And so typically, you know, it'll, it'll be like that, nice and flat so you can screw it into the back of the drive. But the way that it is, that plug's reversed on it, so it's got to be way over here. So I got this thing to fit in there. I had to modify the drive bay a little bit, and I mean, there is absolutely no room. This is like right on top of a capacitor, which I put um, tape, uh, well, I, I have insulation, special insulation tape I put on it, so it doesn't short anything out. But I mean, it leaves no room, I and mean, this thing just barely fits. But it does work. And uh, it reads and it reads. I haven't tried to burn any disc with it. I had never got that far with it because I had it all out, scattered all out in pieces. But anyway, yeah. So that's where we're at. So anyway, um, I just went to sleep here. So anyway, um, yeah. So as far as the G4 update, uh, it ain't happening at this point. Um, I don't know what more we can do other than if I found another board. Uh, that's got that right type of a processor because the the board that's in this one isn't the right type they they kind of changed them a little bit there's a certain kind of chip that's got to be in there and then it works but uh, anyway i know uh greg was saying that that he was going to have colin uh do his uh, uh mac and uh, but he's never had time to do it so Anyway, uh, it does work though. Like I said, this did originally work. So I know something else failed in the board, I guess, because we thought it was the processor. We thought it got overheated. He put a new processor on it. It's never even, never, the screen never came up with it. And uh, never got no USB lighting up on my uh, keyboard here on the mouse. Because, you know, like right now, it's, it's getting the USB signal on it. It's getting the power. Uh, it gets Molex power and everything. That's not a problem. But yeah. So anyway guys, uh, on the next video I'll show you um, this drive when I get it upgraded as far as fitting into the machine. I gotta, like I said, I gotta make some special brackets because I do not like to hack anything on these machines. Although I did cut like about a half inch of that drive bay, like a notch on it. Um, I've got pictures of it I'll show you guys uh, when I do the video on it. So anyway uh yeah so uh guys uh thank you very much for expressing such a great interest i had a lot of good response on this and just uh you know hey subscribe so that way when i do updates you'll get it and uh, get, get it the news just like everybody else does only a little quicker all right so uh bye everybody and thank you everybody for your support bye